Hi friends, it's Miss Giselle. I wanted to read to you one of these books that I really enjoy reading, and it's called Pinkalicious. There's a couple different series with this book, but I wanted to read you this one. This is one of her very first ones. The author is Victoria Kahn and Elizabeth Kahn, and it's called Pinkalicious. It was a rainy day, too wet to go outside. Mommy said, let's make cupcakes. What color do you want? Pink, I said. Pink, pink, pink. Mommy put in some pink. More, I cried. More, more, more. I gobbled up a couple of cupcakes while Mommy and I frosted them. They were so yummy, they were pink delicious. I offered one to Peter, my little brother, but he is very picky and didn't want to eat his, so I ate it. Please, Mommy, can I have just one more, I begged when I woke up from my nap. You get what you get, and you don't get upset, she said, but I got very upset. After dinner, I ate more cupcakes. Then I refused to go to bed. Just one more cupcake, and I'll go to sleep, I promised. Daddy waved a tired finger at me and said, you had had enough. What? The next morning when I woke up, I was pink. My face was pink, my hands were pink, and my belly was the color of a sunset. Daddy thought I had played with the markers, so he gave me a bath. The pink did not come off. My hair was the color of raspberry sorbet. I cried because I was so beautiful. I was even had pink tears. I put on my pink fairy princess dress and I twirled in front of the mirror while mommy speed dialed the pediatrician. I'm Pinkerbell, look at me. I'm Pinkerbell, I sang. My mommy grabbed her purse. Just one more cupcake, please. Just one more, I yelled on the way out the door. Mommy took me right to the doctor's office. Dr. Wink looked at me and said, you have a very rare and acute case of pinkitis. I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Just call me Pinkarella. Then Dr. Wink said for the next week, no more pink cupcakes, pink bubblegum, or pink cotton candy. Boo! To return to normal, you must eat a steady diet of green food. Yuck! On the way home, we stopped at the playground. My friend, Allison, was there, but she didn't see me because I blended in with the pink Pinoys. When I waved to Allison, a bumblebee landed on my nose. Buzz off! I'm not a flower, I scolded the bee. Soon, I was surrounded by bees, butterflies, and birds. Mommy, I cried, please take me home. When we left the playground, I asked Mommy if I could have another pink cupcake when we got home. Don't you remember what the doctor told you? She said, no more cupcakes. Peter tugged at my pink tails. I wish I were pink like you, he said. He was green with envy. That night, I pretended to eat my dinner of mushy, dark green vegetables, and after everyone went to sleep, I sneaked into the kitchen, climbed a chair, and reached on my tippy toes to the top of the refrigerator where Mommy had hidden the cupcakes. I took just one more pink cupcake and ate it. Then I licked the pink cupcake wrapper clean. When I woke up in the morning, I felt different. I ran to the mirror and peered at my reflection. I was a deeper pink I had ever seen in my face. I was no longer pink. I was red. Oh, no, not red. I screamed. I didn't want to be red. Should not have eaten that pink cupcake last night. I wanted to be myself again. I knew what I had to do. I opened the fridge, held my nose, and I squeezed a bottle of icky green relish onto my tongue. I ate pickles and spinach, olives and okra. I choked down artichokes, gagged down grapes, and burped up Brussels sprouts. Next thing I knew, my arms tickled, my ears tingled, and my feet twitched. I was no longer red. I was no longer pink. I was me, and I was beautiful. 
So what happened to the rest of the cupcake, Pinkalicious? Daddy asked. Then Peter ran in and yelled, Pinkaboo! Oh, Peter. I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I enjoy reading this one. And hey, you might want to make some cupcakes yourself. Just get some white cupcake mix and add your favorite color. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.